Well, how you doing, YouTube? We're back for another beer review. Um, quick note, one of the beers the Albino Rhino sent me uh, in the latest beer mail package, um, that review is a write-off. I thought I'd be able to salv salvage it, but uh, the video itself just turned out so bad that I just don't want to release it. So, um, But that was for the uh, Cremor Springs uh, Hops and Bolts. Uh, I had an accident down in the basement with it where the metal shelf it was sitting on, it's its one of those weird basket-like shelves. So where each shelf is like a metal basket with rungs making up the basket. And uh, so, you know, it's a little harder for stuff to fall off the fucking shelf. Um, but I was putting some other beers on that shelf and I bumped the can. And the can went into one of the, one of the steel rungs, like right on the edge of it. And apparently it's still pretty sharp. So it was sharp enough to puncture a hole in the can, make a slow leak. So I opened the beer like immediately after cleaning up the mess it made and tried to do a review. But at the time my cold was still pretty bad. So I wasn't getting much. And then I was on... Uh, the albino rhinos jtv chat a few minutes later that night and i was saying i'm sorry che i can't do the review um but then i was starting to drink the beer and it was starting to open up for me and i uh, was starting to smell and taste it and it, it it was fine it was fine beer um it wasn't anything great it was just a very hoppy very hoppy lager a lot of grapefruit note to it um quite malty as well Tasted like a British bitter, almost like a a British IPA, but not nearly as uh, malty or bitter. But it was something close to that. Uh, it was good. It was fine. Um, Chad said he'd send me another one. Uh, he doesn't have to do that. Don't worry about that. Um, but, you know, it, it, w it would have been a 3 out of 5 beer. I think that's what I gave it. Uh, I should have a picture pop up to show what it actually looks like. Uh, it's worth checking out if you can find it, Creamore Springs, Hops and Bolts. Uh, but we're going to do two other beers here that have thankfully survived my uh, bumbling, stumbling ways down in the basement. Uh, first one I'm going to be doing tonight, and then I'll do the other one in a separate review. I'm going to be doing Genesee Cream Ale. Now, I think this is a beer company that the Albino Rhino crew is not too fond of. They're from Rochester, New York. I assume they're made by one of the bigger guys. I don't see Anheuser-Busch here anywhere or uh, Miller Coors. They seem to have some sort of... But yeah, I, I assume they're from one of the bigger guys. I'm pretty sure they are. Um... Uh, but I like that can, man. I really like that. That is a really slick looking can. I, I like uh, minimalist shit, and that's a very nice minimalist can. Almost looks like a old fifties, forties, fifties sort of oil can or something like that, right? Some same sort of kind of like design concepts and stuff. Very minimalist and nice. So I like that. And uh, I had uh, who was it? I think maybe it was Strange Brewings who said that. This is actually a good beer, and I might like it a lot. It was one of my regular commenters. So, we'll try it out and see. Uh, I don't know what the alcohol is. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't give me the alcohol. Just hold one second here. Benefit of doing this on my webcam is I can pop up my browser here. Check this shit out. Um, the oh, Genesee Brewery was first known as High Falls Brewing Company. Mm, this must be like their flagship beer. Jenny Cream. Come on now. Go fucking beer advocate or rape beer. Uh, 5.1% apparently. 
Dundee Brewing Company, Genesee Brewing Company. So Dundee owns them, I guess. North American Breweries, KPS Capital G, all kinds of all kinds of big guys in the mix here. So I'm assuming it's 5.1 percent. All right. Well, that looks like a lager. <laughs> Cream ales are usually supposed to be pretty light anyway, but man, that looks like Lagerville. Just the pale is pale, pale amber, gold kind of color. Most of the color it's picking up is from the actual background of my room. Yeah, it looks very watery and light. So head looks nice, but it looks like one of those big fluffy. Uh, fake macro heads at the same time. So we'll go to the aroma. Oh. Wow, very grainy, wet cardboard. There's no ale quality to the smell at all. It smells like um, the clearest, the, the closest I'd, uh, the closest I'd uh, come to, to comparing it with would be like, um, the export ales you get in Canada, like Olin Export, or uh, the Schooner Lager, um, may, not quite Molson. Molson's sweeter than this, I believe. Uh, yeah, not getting a lot of hops at all. No hops really. It's it's basically just your carb, your wet cardboard, grainy smell. At least I'm not getting canned cream corn. I prefer this smell over the canned cream corn shit. All right, let's go to the taste. And this was sent by the Albino. I, I think I said that, but it's sent by the Albino Rhino. I can't remember now because I'm seven minutes into this fucking review because I was blabbing on. Anyone who's stuck around this long, cheers to you. Well, I will say this: it has a bit more body than I thought it was going to have. I'm not going to say it's medium bodied. It's it's uh, it's upper light, but it. There is this hint of, like, creaminess to the actual body. It's weird. Buttery. That's what I'd say it is. It's kind of buttery. Sweet mold up front. Sort of disperses into this grainy character. Um, buttery texture to it, coats the entire mouth. Again, no hops. Very, uh, very macro lagerish. Not a bad macro lager, but very macro lagerish. You know, it's not bad. It really isn't bad. Um, for what it is, it's perfectly acceptable. It's drinkable. I could do a bunch of these in a night, no problem. Wouldn't uh, wouldn't feel bad about it. Might feel bad the next day. I don't know, but um, yeah, that's not bad. Um, I can't necessarily say it's good or anything, but uh, Genesee Cream Ale. Uh, thanks to the Albino Rhino for sending this one to me. I'm going to go... Oh, I'll go I'll go 275. So it's a bit more in a bear pass. Um, it, it's a perfectly acceptable stuff. Um, there's no, there's nothing disgusting about it. No off notes or anything like that. So uh, what more can you ask from a macro lagerish semi-ale thing? Not much. So, yeah. <laughs> Juicy Cream Ale, 2.75 out of 5. Thanks for watching almost 10 minutes for this, just to get a review of this shit. Listen to me ramble on. Uh, cheers, guys. See you later.